Good day, children. Uh, my name is Anwar Sunji. I'm thrilled to be here in Uzbekistan, the Presidential School of Tashkent, where I teach biology. Uh, today, I'm going to take you on an exciting journey. The journey is the structure of DNA. And for me, is the miracle of life. The aim of this lesson, by the end of this lesson, a student will be able to recognize the different parts of the DNA. They will be able to explain the structure of DNA. They will be able to explain how nucleotides form and make up DNA. All right? My lesson outcomes, by the end of the lesson, the student, you, should be able to label the different parts of the DNA. You should be able to describe in words the structure of DNA. You should also be able to show how the nucleotide makes up DNA. With that, I'd like to go through a few words that you may have difficulty with. Right? For the first word, please say these words three times after me. Chromosome. Deoxyribonucleic acid. Adenine. Cytosine. Guanine. Thymine. Nucleotide, phosphodiester bond. So those are the words that we are going to come across to in this lesson. And I hope you will be able to pronounce these words properly. Okay, let's start this journey. What is a chromosome? This little baby. We need to understand what makes her human? We need to understand why is she a girl? All living organisms have characteristics. Now, these characteristics are passed over from the parent to the child. And in humans, there are 46 chromosomes. 23 of the chromosomes are given from the parent to the child by the mother, and 23 are given from the father to the offspring, which is the baby. Chromosomes are located in the nucleus of the cell. So, what is DNA? Chromosomes are made up of a molecule called DNA. A molecule, a single molecule. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. Each chromosome is very long molecule which is tightly coiled DNA. It looks just like this. It's tightly coiled. It is a coil, spiral form coil. Now, the question comes about is that DNA carries the code that controls the entire cell. And we want to know how does it do it? Which part of the DNA molecule contains the information that controls the cell. Let's look at the structure of the DNA. The DNA is all is made up of a single molecule of the chromosome is made up of a single molecule of DNA. Now, the gene is a small section a small section of the DNA molecule. Now, this small section is called a gene, and this gene 
has the code for the protein that is required. Now, the DNA is made up of a twisted ladder. This is a ladder. This is what a ladder looks like. And this is a twisted ladder, right? And this spiral shape is called a double helix. This spiral shape that you see is called a double helix. The DNA has got a backbone, right? So let me show you exactly what this uh, backbone does. As this handrail provides support for this staircase and keeps you upright and stable, preventing you from falling over, the DNA strand is made up of a phosphate and deoxyribose sugar, which keeps the strand upright and stable. And the beauty part is, it has two of these backbones that keeps it upright. And it's fantastic. Okay, so this is the backbone. It's made up of uh, uh, ribose sugar and it's made up of phosphate. And this is the backbone which keeps stability. But the important part that you know, need to know is that it supports the bases in this whole structure and it doesn't have any genetic information. So, what does have the genetic information? The base pairs, right? These are the rungs of the ladder, right? These are the base pairs, the rungs of this ladder. And they contain the genetic information and they are paired together, as you can see, in a specific sequence. That sequence is yellow, red, as you can see specifically. Only yellow, red can bond to each other. And green and blue can only bond to each other. So that code is specific. These base pairs also keeps the strand together. It keeps the entire strand together. It's connected. It's connected by hydrogen bonds. All right, we spoke about this double helix ladder. So let's, what are these base pairs called, right? One is called adenine, and it is labeled A. Cytosine is labeled C. Guanine is labeled G. Thymine is labeled T. Now, do you think that they are paired anyway? No. I explained to you, they are paired in a specific way. And how is that? There is a rule for the pairing. A always pairs with T. A always bonds with T. That is, the yellow is always with Blue, C always with G. That means the green and red are always together. So there is a specific bonding that occurs only according to this rule. And all your DNA molecules follow this rule no matter how many millions that they are. Now, the sequence, the sequence of these base pairs is what holds the genetic code. As you can see, the sequence starts red, green, yellow, blue. And it moves on to yellow, red, yellow. So that sequence has the genetic code for that molecule. We are now going to talk about the intricacies of the uh, DNA molecule, which is the nucleotide. How is a nucleotide formed? It is formed with a phosphate, a sugar, and a nitrogen base, right? 
And this is, for example, deoxyribose. We're going to use an example called adenine. When these two join together by a condensation reaction, water is released. And then, when a phosphate combines, forming ester bond, which forms a, a ester bond, then another water is released. And therefore, two water molecules have been released. Okay, and this forms the nucleotide on the whole. Now, these nucleotides can be joined together, right? By the similar condensation reaction, another molecule is lost. So each nucleotide connects to each other, we're losing a water molecule, and therefore forming this chain, nucleotide chain, which is called a poly nucleotide chain. And this is how the entire chain forms. The other chain also forms in the, exactly the same way. And these chains are held together by hydrogen bonds. There are three bonds between uh, guanine and cytosine, and there are two bonds between adenine and thymine. At the end of this lesson, I think a fun activity would be to make this with lollipops, and we could all eat the project after that. Right, so this is the fun facts uh, as far as there are 37 trillion cells, that there are 25,000 human coding protein genes. The mitochondria has DNA, so does the chloroplast. And the final question that I would like to leave you with is, did this all happen by accident? Or is there a greater divine creator who has designed this magnificent molecule? Thank you. Have a fabulous day.